Shalom, beloved family. Welcome to the call where we journey together in faith, discovering and living out God's truth in our lives. Today, we are diving into a powerful topic that has the ability to transform every aspect of your life. Christian identity. Knowing who you are in Christ. Understanding this truth can shape your life, your self-worth, and how you view your purpose in this world. Let's explore it together. What is identity in Christ? Identity is defined as the fact of being who or what a person is. As Christians, our identity is not based on what the world says about us, but on who God says we are. When we come to Christ, we become new creations. 2 Corinthians 5.17 Our old selves, defined by sin, shame, and brokenness, are replaced by a new, divine identity rooted in Christ. What does it mean to be in Christ? The phrase in Christ appears repeatedly throughout the New Testament. To be in Christ means to be united with Him through faith, which involves salvation. We are saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ, Ephesians 2.8. We are no longer condemned, but forgiven and given eternal life. Adoption. We become children of God. John 1.12. Members of His family with full access to His love, care, and inheritance. Righteousness. Our sinful nature is replaced by the righteousness of Christ. 2 Corinthians 5.21. We are no longer seen as sinners in God's eyes, but as righteous, because of Jesus' sacrifice. How embracing your identity in Christ shapes your life. Freedom from past mistakes and labels. Many of us live under the weight of past mistakes or labels imposed by others, whether it's insecurity, guilt, or shame. But in Christ, we are new creations. We are not defined by our failures or by what people say about us. Romans 8.1 tells us that there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. The freedom found in Christ removes every chain that once held us back, allowing us to live boldly in His truth, confidence and self-worth. When you understand that you are God's masterpiece, Ephesians 2.10, created in His image, your view of yourself changes. Self-worth isn't based on external achievements or appearance. In grace, as someone who has overcome insecurity about your face, you've experienced firsthand how embracing God's view of you brings confidence. Your worth is anchored in being a beloved child of God, not in societal standards. Living with purpose. Knowing who you are in Christ equips you to live with purpose. God has created you with unique gifts, talents, and a specific calling. Jeremiah 29.11 When you understand your identity, you realize that your life is not random but divinely designed. Walking in your identity allows you to serve God fully, whether it's through your career, relationships, or ministry. Overcoming life's challenges Life is full of trials. But when you're grounded in your identity in Christ, you can face difficulties with strength. You know that nothing can separate you from God's love. Romans 8, 38 to 39. And you can overcome any obstacle because you are more than a conqueror in Christ. Romans 8, 37. This assurance transforms how you respond to challenges, no longer with fear, but with faith. Loving others as Christ loves you. When we grasp our identity in Christ, we begin to see others as God sees them. We no longer treat people based on how they treat us or based on judgment, but with Christ-like love. As Colossians 3.12 reminds us, we are chosen, holy, and dearly loved, and we should clothe ourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. The more we embrace who we are in Christ, the more naturally we love others in the same way. Key scriptures to meditate on. 2 Corinthians 5.17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. 
Behold, the new has come. This verse highlights the transformation that happens when we embrace our identity in Christ. Galatians 2.20 I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. This shows the deep connection we have with Christ. We are no longer living for ourselves, but for him. 1 Peter 2.9 but you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. This verse reminds us that our identity is not ordinary, but royal and holy, with a purpose to shine his light to the world. Practical Steps to Embrace Your Identity in Christ Renew your mind with God's Word. Spend time daily reading scriptures that remind you of who you are in Christ. Allow the Word to replace any negative or false beliefs about your identity. Prayer Ask the Holy Spirit to reveal any lies you've believed about yourself and to replace them with God's truth. Surround yourself with believers. Community is essential. Spend time with others who affirm your identity in Christ and encourage your walk in faith. Speak life over yourself. Declare God's truth over yourself. Speak words of affirmation like, I am a child of God, I am loved, and I am chosen. Closing. Greeting. Thank you so much for joining me today on the call. As you move forward, I encourage you to continually seek your identity in Christ. Remember, you are a new creation, loved and chosen by God. Allow this truth to shape your life and give you confidence in who you are. Until next time, may God's peace and love be with you. Shalom.